Uh, good morning. How are you? This is third of the series of integration. And we have stopped here when we have reached to the point when I was explaining Hardin's ladder steps of integration. And just to recall, it is a methodology which is, a, which is based on a continuum of integration. Hardens and explains them into steps. Step 1, step 2, step 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Step 1 is isolation. Step 2 awareness. Step 3 harmonization. Step 4 nesting. Step 5 temporal coordination. 6 sharing. 7 correlation. 8 complementary. Then 9, 10, 11. Other dictionaries multi, inter, and trans. We had also reached the conclusion when we had discussed previously that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are possibly within a subject in which a teacher, when he is teaching a topic of his subject, is integrating the content of other subjects into it. Whereas in sharing correlation complementary, the sessions are made such that which you cannot say this is a session of a subject. And out of this I have told more important to understand is nesting, temporal coordination, sharing and correlation. In order to understand Harder's level of integration, remember this symbol. This symbol represents a, a subject in subsequent slides and even Harden in his written article has used these symbols and I have simply cut and pasted them. All next slides are quotes from the original article of Harden. All these diagrams are from the original article of Harden, not my own. First step is isolation. Subject is teaching is subject based. Each subject remains responsible for its own teaching program. Each department looks from the perspective of their own subject only. Teacher and students attend the lecture on anatomy and then move on to lecture in physiology with neither lecturer being aware of what was covered in the other lectures. This is step one, isolation. And this correspond to the first step fragmented or forgotten. You see these diagrams? These are subjects. They are simply not aware because no link is being shown between them. Step 2 awareness. Teaching is subject based. Each subject remains responsible for its own teaching program. Each department looks from the perspective of their own subject only. This is same as in step one. But, however, the teacher in one subject is made aware of what is being covered in other subject in the curriculum through proper documentation, avoiding unnecessary duplication where appropriate when a teacher is teaching topic of his subject in a lesson. Here you see the dotted lines. It means some link is being created and they are made aware of. Step 3 is harmonization. These points are same as step 1. Teaching subject base, each subject responsible for its own teaching, teachers of different subjects consult each other. Face to face, the consultation process between teachers takes place through informal discussion and formal, discussion, formal meetings overseeing the staff with responsibility of overall curriculum. This is harmonization. Though the link has become more formal, the link is established now. 
in nesting. Step four, teaching is subject based. Each subject will remain responsible for its own teaching program. Teachers of different subjects consult each other and communicate. The teacher teaches within its subject the content related to other subjects. This is many of our very good teachers. They always talk like that, isn't it? I remember when a teacher of Sethi used to come and teach. Before starting actual Sethi, he used to talk about the applied anatomy, applied physiology, applied pharmacology, pathology, then medical disease, and then coming on surgery. This is nesting. A teacher of a subject teaching this topic and within it teaching content of other subjects. And obviously they know each other. Step 5 temporal, temporal coordination. Teaching is subject based. Each subject remains responsible for its own teaching program. These two are same as before. The timing of the teaching of topics within a subject, however, is done in consultation with other disciplines. The timetable is adjusted so that topics within the subject or disciplines which are related are scheduled at the same time. This is diagrammatic presentation of temporal coordination. Six is sharing. Two disciplines or subjects may agree to plan and jointly implement a teaching program. The shared planning and teaching takes place in two disciplines in which overlapping concepts or ideas emerge as organizing elements. Note, unlike temporal coordination, which may be a step towards a more fully integrated overall program, Shared programs are often seen as ends in themselves. It means it is not a step that you have to step over it to go to next step. You can call it, it's a small side step which is present. Two subjects, common content, a program is placed. Step 7 is correlation. Again, teaching is subject based. Each subject remains responsible for its own teaching program. Within this framework, an integrated teaching session or course is introduced in addition to the subject based teaching. This session brings together areas of interest common to each other of the subject. Examples are integrated teaching sessions, and most commonly known is problem based learning. Then there could be an integrated clinical pathological conference case-based learning, team-based learning, etc, etc. This component I'm talking about, which is introduced, when this is introduced, it is correlation. In level 8 complementary, teaching is again subject-based and integrated. The integrated session now represents a major feature in the curriculum, such as 7, this is not forming the major component. But in complementary, it is forming the major component and they have reduced in size. The focus of teaching may be a theme or topic to which the disciplines can contribute. And more importantly, now since the major component of teaching is to three sessions, so therefore the examination also take shape of integrated examination. It will be unfair at this point of time to conduct examination which is subject based. Step 9, 10, 11. Multidisciplinary brings together a number of subjects in a single course within themes. Interdisciplinary, there is future shift of emphasis to themes and the focus of learning and transdisciplinary, the bounty of subject does not exist. Theoretical frameworks exist. Difficult to comprehend how one can completely change the medical medical curriculum to, let us say, level 10 or level 11. Because of the issues related to feasibility and implementation. If you remember the natural history 
issue of teachers interviewing the content, isolation, awareness, step two, harmonization, nesting, temporal coordination. Again, isolation, awareness, harmonization, nesting, temporal coordination. Sharing, coordination, complementary, military, inter trans discipline. I hope that it helps you to understand the levels. And a very important tool by which you can comment upon the level of integration is by looking at the timetable. For example, if you look at this timetable, histology lab, anatomy classification of joints, biochemistry, the gene carbohydrate, in physiology, heart and circulation, anatomy, upper limb, it is level one isolation. If they know this thing, how they are teaching, it is awareness. If they are made to know, if they are consulting each other, it is harmonization. And let us say, if somebody is giving, is talking about uh, physiology of cardiac cycle and he is know about this thing, what is happening around over here and he understand, he has some knowledge, then before starting is, he can place the content of anatomy into his lecture, which may not be present and available in title because he has awareness now. Now here you see, this is a timetable. If you have a look at it, everywhere they are talking about cell membrane, cell membrane, or again a cell, again cell, 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 again anything related to cell, although this is something different. Who knows? Back to introduction to laboratory techniques, how to use that? Histology lab, cell as a whole, again cell. So all topics of related to anatomy subject, physiology subject, biochemistry subject, they have been linked around a part of an organ which is a cell. Isn't it? Level 5, temporal coordination. Now if you see this thing, it is same, but some or the other, they have introduced a problem based learning session by the name of cell factory. So whatever you have learned in these subjects, there are sessions in which fusion of this and this is not being taught by a faculty of anatomy, by a faculty of physiology, biochemistry, all are teaching in fact. This is correlation. And then you see this. There is a shift on the two and here you see a major component of the curriculum that week is through sessions which promote integration in which there is not the boundary of subject like case-based learning, case-based learning are there, problem-based learning is congestive heart and in anatomy also they are doing relevant dissection to take of it and you see there is an integrated examination of what they are being learned. It looks like it's not a week, it's a theme palpitation and complementary is happening now. Thank you very much. I hope it helps you.